I don't, yeah, I don't have to say anything because you, you cut me off during my speech and you finished it for me. So, Dito, Ditto. Oops. Should I just like bring up a different subject? Three, two, one. It is loud in here right now. I can't even focus. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Would you, would you agree? Yes. Let's, let's, it is loud in here. let's try to hammer this thing out. We don't have JD for this episode, which which just crushes my heart because he made a very what I what I thought at the time was a ridiculous prediction that Victoria P was was crazy, and we thought he was crazy for thinking that. If you go back in the episode, you are correct. We, we, uh, me and Goose went against him. So did you, and um, I. We all owe him an apology. She is bad, <laughs> crazy. We're gonna have to bleep that out. Yeah, I think. Uh, obviously, starting off relationships is probably not good to start off with these even, even uh, simple lies like that. So uh, I don't even know why she'd have to make that up. We're just partying at Omnia together, and then. Act like it never happened, so I don't know. It's kind of pop, popping bottles, and, and, and all of a sudden, well, maybe maybe they got blacked out, and she didn't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Had to fly there together, no? They got pictures, probably background on her phone. That would be a massive Men in Black situation where it'd be like, erase the memory. But apparently that happened, which was even more shocking is when, when they saw each other again after Alea reappeared in Episode Four, is Victoria P goes right over for a massive hug with her. And not really in line with the, the, the trash she'd been talking up to that point. And even one of the other girls had mentioned during their 13-person uh, group date is when the cameras weren't rolling and they were hanging out in the closet, she made comments saying that uh, Alea, uh, Victoria P. made comments saying Alea was, was a very bad person. Well, then during the rose ceremony, she's holding her hand. So the, these things are just wacky to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, obviously you can't lie. Lion's bad, but I understand why they, she tried saying that they don't know each other. That's obviously red flag when it goes into the audition stuff. I know, I know all the, the stuff when it goes to that. Well, but it's also a different thing to lie to Peter and tell yeah. him like, hey, she's not a good person. You need to get rid of her. But but what, what we didn't see until episode four was in episode three that she planted the seed with the girls telling her she's not a good person. So then all of a sudden that narrative starts getting a snowball effect and rolling. I don't, yeah, I don't have to say anything because you, you cut me off during my speech and you finished it for me, so. Sorry, man, I thought you were, you'd stop talking. Maybe you were taking a deep no, breath or I, something and I just thought you were done talking. Um, let's go back to the start of the episode. Victoria F, as opposed to Victoria P, and I'll give you the mic since you're crying about it, is they go on an incredible for, uh, uh, single date, okay? No other girls involved. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Because it's a funny date. Continue. Give well, she's cutting. she's afraid of heights, so she's kind of crying about the fact that they're going to go up in the plane. Then the producers can't break her, so then they send her to an amusement park to slingshot her <laughs> into a different universe. Yeah, they. The, it's clear that they're trying to get Victoria either A, dead, or B, just to leave the show. I love that. That's, what do you mean? Two different Victorias? Yeah, Victoria P and Victoria. Victoria, Victoria P is the blonde one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You haven't been watching, have you? A little bit. I missed the last one. Devo uh, want to watch sports. So Victoria F., she ends up going on this group date. The producers try to end her life in the first two little things they do. So that didn't work. So they're like, you know what, let's bring on her ex-boyfriend that she dated for a few years that's famous, who's going to sing a country song that they're going to dance and make out to without Peter knowing. Who's? Here's a good debate. Is it a bad guy move for Chase Rice to talk to Peter and not say anything? Because they talked for, for five to ten minutes. Bad guy move. He didn't say one word. I'm going to have to disagree with you, or maybe he felt like it wasn't in his place. I think it's, it's on her. If she wants to tell him, she could tell him, but I don't think that Chase Rice has to tell him. I don't know. I'm not saying tell him, tell him hey, we dated for sick, but... It's gonna be like, oh, who's who? Like, what? Do you, they didn't talk about the show. Who's here? Oh, this is Victoria. Oh yeah, I know her. Like something. In a, they didn't say that. 
I thought it was odd that they did the number exchange and we're, we're, we're playing tummy That's sticks, buddy, buddy. Yeah. You can't give your guy, like, be boys with him. Hey, yeah, hit you up for any tickets, whatever you need for my shows. And all of a sudden, yeah, by the way, I dated your, your girlfriend now. How about Peter Weber in the testimonials? Uh, what, are you upset that I cut you off again? No, oh. no. Are you upset that that happened? Yeah, I'm, I'm not upset at all. I don't know. What... You would want to know if that was you. That's what you're saying. Right? How, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. I can't believe that he didn't say anything. How about in the testimonials? Uh, they they were obviously teeing up Peter, and he's like, "Oh man, I love Chase Rice. We're boys now. Maybe he'll sing at our wedding." Yeah, it's tough. I mean, uh, that was uh, still before he knew, right? And then she told him at dinner, and she started crying. I don't know when they're filming these testimonials, but it, it was a bad look because uh, he got duped, and he was he was in shock. Nonetheless, still a very good date with Victoria F. They've they've battled a lot of. Uh, what do you call it? a lot of adversity early on in their relationship um the girls are fed up at the fact that this guy can't make a decision to save his life i would have to agree with the ladies they, they keep the, the the goal of the show is to take people off he's adding people yeah i think i actually love when they they bring more people in because the the girls go crazy and uh i love the drama it's the best part of the show i think but um I think they'll start weeding themselves out. Some girls might leave, but we'll see. Cheyenne could probably uh, make the XFL. She had four touchdowns during that huge group date. I don't know what you want to call it, where the Killer Bees played the – I forget the other name, the other yeah. team. Yeah, but it was twenty a 25-yard stadium. It, they made, it was a full football stadium. They made it 25 yards, so love to see her on a, you know, a real, uh, real game. <laughs> well, I think you're being a little critical. I thought she was excellent, four touchdowns. I mean – speaks for itself she's probably a better athlete than you um she was very irritated at the fact that she had to do this 28 person group date she doesn't get any alone time after getting a four touchdown game and rightfully so who gets the one-on-one -on -one date though after that kelsey i think she's fit for a straight jacket he's got the wool completely pulled over his eyes Vinny, what do you think yeah I'm, I'm with you i think she's uh crazy you yeah no i agree i don't think uh I think we could all see it. I, I, I mean, there's so many things wrong about about Peter. It's it's insane. Um, like you just said, he's that has to be a first ever um, bachelor to add two two people from uh, from the mix. Ask, asked Hannah if she wanted to come back on the show. I know. Ask um, what's her name? It's a free for all. Yeah, and then. I kind of like that though. Just kind of adding whoever he wants. Well, so That's, does Vinny. He likes yeah, the drama. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but there's one thing I just, I mean, there's five seconds left in a basketball game or football. You don't give Peter Peter the ball because he, he can't make a decision. Like you said, he's, uh, I, I wouldn't want him, I don't want to be friends with him. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, I, listen, I, I keep making excuse after excuse for this guy, and he's even starting to melt my skull a little bit. He's, he's got to just make better decisions and stick with them when he makes them. Peter, figure it out. Well, folks, that wraps things up for Episode 4 of the Arizona Coyotes Batch Report. We will see you next week where we hopefully can find Peter making better decisions. Yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, we'll see where it goes. Let's, let's wrap this up. Yep.